guys, uh, let's open up a SSL session to Raspberry Pi. Actually, uh, I have connected my Raspberry Pi in my network, so I can SSL into it from my desktop. So, to do that, I'll just open up WinSCP. To start SSL session, I can just use Putty. So, to install Arduino, you can simply type in sudo apt-get install Arduino. So, uh, before that, just check if you have uh, like active internet connection to your Raspberry Pi. So, if you don't have, you can't simply install. on yes so it's going to take some time because it's going to download some files from the internet so leave it to complete the installation and in the meantime we are going to install xming that is like useful to have a graphical interface to the raspberry pi so you can just download xming or I will just give you a link below so you can download it. I already have it. So like so I'm finish. And your taskbar make sure X Wing is running. Okay. Now open up putty. Type in the IP of your Raspberry Pi and over here in SSH, do one thing in X11, just check on enable, enable X11 forwarding and local host call on 0. Okay, now open it up. So right now I am in 2 SS session to Raspberry Pi from the same system. Uh, this will like enable the graphical interface with XMIN. And over here another terminal is installing Arduino. To check graphical interface you can simply type on PC main. This will open up the window for like your file and all of Raspberry Pi into your system. Over here, you can see or uh, you can browse files from your Raspberry Pi. So, let's wait for installation of Arduino. Uh, so, guys, this has completed the installation of Arduino into the Raspberry Pi. So let's try to open up the Arduino. So it says uh, X11 display is not enabled. So we'll open up with the uh, SSL session that has been set for X11 for, uh, forwarding. Okay. So let's open up over here. So now over here you can see. We have opened up Arduino ID actually. So yeah, it is not showing any serial port because uh, like we have not connected our Arduino to Raspberry Pi and we have not installed the driver required for it. Okay. So let's connect our Arduino to the Raspberry Pi and see. So guys, I have connected my Arduino to the Raspberry Pi and to check the USB connected devices, I can simply type in LSUSB. Okay. Uh, so over here in the first device, you can see 
it has detected the CP two one zero X. You are rich. Okay. So actually, I am not having a genuine Arduino over here. Just I am having an Indian made. So it kind of kind of it has detected the USB two watt bridge that the Arduino is having. Okay. So let's go ahead to Arduino and see if it detects the serial port. Okay. Over here you can see it has detected the depth it way USB zero. Okay. Now let's open up the default blink program. And let's try to upload it to the Arduino. So yeah, you can see it has uh, like successfully uploaded the sketch into the Arduino. Okay. That's all with this, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, just give me one second, and hope you have liked my video. If so, just hit the thumbs up button. Or if you don't, there is thumbs down button for you also. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest updates. Okay, see you next time with my new content. That's all, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.